I'm going to show you guys how to set your MIDI controller to uh, control Logic's transport. This also works on MIDI keyboards um, if necessary. This will just save you uh, some some time and also save you some some money. Um, I happen to have devices that just don't have uh, the MIDI transport, I mean a transport on them. For example, the trigger finger doesn't have it, nor does my key station. Um, so instead of buying something like the Korg Micro Control, which I was going to buy, um, I'll just use this. Um, and also this will keep you away from your mouse and your keyboard and just keep you on, on the devices that you need uh, to use to make your music. Um, so the first thing before we even start um, in Logic is uh, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to set your MIDI controller to send MIDI data that you don't usually use. For example, this is gonna send. I set my trigger finger up to send um, uh, data from like C negative two and D negative two and things like that. So that's about two octave two octaves below uh, what standard MIDI um, MIDI keyboards send out. Um, be sure to do this because if not you'll run into some headaches after uh, when you're trying to record and you have to find out that your recording just stopped um, because you already set that note to to stop basically. Um, so we're gonna, well, we're gonna want to open a track here, I mean a project here and go to Logic Pro's Preferences, go to Key Commands, open that up, you're going to find it exactly like this. Expand Global Commands and that's where you'll find the jackpot. Um, you're right off the bat going to see Record, Record, Slash, and P, and things like that. Um, my suggestion is to not use Record, um, to not assign Record because assigning Record will just do exactly that. Um, if you do that, it's just gonna act as this button does. I'm clicking this button and it's doing nothing other than just starting the recording. Um, with record toggle, you could begin the recording. I'm sorry, record slash record toggle. You could begin the recording and then turn off um, the recording at any time and then pick it up whenever you want. Um, so that just adds a that just makes everything a little bit smoother. Um, so just highlight whatever you want to. Um, whatever you want to assign. I already have this assigned so I'm going to delete it. You're going to find it just like this. Um, so you're going to click learn new assignment, press the pad that you want to assign and it's there. Um, so to test it out you just press that and as you can see it already began recording. Began recording and we could just stop it at it stop the recording at any time and just toggle that on and off um, and it keeps on playing um, so the next thing you want to do is probably set up your stop and pause um, or stop playing stop and things like that um, so stop is gonna do exactly that stop it for you and if you press it two times it'll bring you to the beginning of the track so as a full, as a full stop uh, play and stop is going to be a little bit more useful. It'll actually, play your play your track and stop it, and you can play um, play it back right where you left off. So it'll act more as a pause. Um, so I already have mine set up. Uh, all you have to do with every other one is just basically um, do exactly what I did for record slash record toggle. Um, just learn learn new assignment, press your pad, and let it go, and that's it. Um, and that's uh. That's basically it. And, uh, cool things that you might want to uh, might want to try is try assigning your metronome. Um, if you can't find if you can't find it um, in that list, don't worry about it. Um, just type it in, and it'll find it for you. Uh, loop is gonna be cycle. So right now I have my cycle to be this down here. So as you can tell, my cycle is turning on and off, loop on and off. This one's controlling my metronome. Um, so I loop on and off, mention on and off, and things like that. Another cool thing um, is assigning the mixer, toggle mixer. Um, so right there, if I press this pad, I've signed it up, signed up. So you uh, 
I have it assigned so you could uh, open and close your mixer right here and also my piano roll so just search for those things and assign them to your liking um, and that's basically it so all you gotta do is make sure that your drum pad is um, or your device is set up so it doesn't interfere with any other MIDI data um, I'll set this up here um, and to do that all you do is select your assign select your control select what you want to control I'm sorry and um, learn new assignment press the pad and that's basically it um, after that you should be all set and you could just uh, you just close that out and it's automatically saved so and the last step is just to test it out and that's it I hope this will uh, this will speed up your workflow like it will mine